Okay, to start folding the base of your wagon, you're going to flip it over so that you just see the white side on the front. You're going to fold the long sides towards the center like that. So you can swivel it this way and just fold it in, swivel it the other way, fold it again, just like that. So the sides are sitting up. Then you're going to unfold it and fold these flaps in. So you're gonna fold the flaps to the center, just like that, including the long flap. So you're gonna fold it all the way in like that. You're gonna flip it around and do the same thing, just like that. And you're gonna unfold that other side and fold that up. All right, you can unfold everything. We're just trying to create creases. And then the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna fold this to the center where you folded it first. So you'll have, um, you'll have that first fold and then this will go folding towards that crease, just like that. We'll do the same thing for the other side. Okay, so now you have all your creases ready to go and you can make your box. You're going to apply glue to the longest flap here. So you're gonna just apply a bunch of glue here and then a bunch of glue here, just like that. Okay, and then you're going to fold your sides. You're gonna fold your flaps in and then you're gonna fold the sides, sides up and then just straighten out those flaps. Then you're going to fold the end in like that and tuck that in the center. So it looks like that. And you're gonna do the same thing to the other side. Fold it up, fold that up like that, and fold it in. And then you're gonna wait for your glue to dry before you proceed to the next step. That's what you got. Okay, now we're ready to put the seat on our wagon and the, <clears throat> What is this thing called? I don't even know. It's like the, <laughs> it's the part that hooks up to the oxen. All right, the first thing you're gonna do is you have two lines on your, uh, on this, this shape, this piece here. And you're going to fold the first line, you're going to fold it back like that. And then the next, you're gonna flip it over and you're just going to fold the other line towards the crease that you just made. So you'll see two lines. One you want to fold sort of in, and the other one you want to fold away. Okay, so that's your seat for your, for your wagon, okay? And then on this, the pole, you have a little line here, and you're just gonna fold that back like that, okay? And now you're going to apply glue to this piece, this flap, and to the part of the upper part of the seat. Put a bunch of glue there, a bunch of glue there, and just gonna reform it into the shape of the seat. And you're going to attach it. Oops, you probably wanna put a little more glue. Okay, you're gonna attach it here like that and you're gonna fold the flap in like that so that it just like that and you're gonna let it dry you have to hold that for a little bit to let it dry um, once you feel like it's staying stuck you can let go of it um, and and glue apply glue just to that tip there and you're going to attach it just below the seat, just like that. Okay, once you got those parts glued on, you're going to flip it on the side and you're going to apply glue to the upper, just one top part of the wheel. So, uh, and then the, they'll be attached to your wagon. Okay, once you have the wheels attached, on both sides you're gonna let it dry because 
Um, if you start to put your wagon on its wheels right now without the glue being dry, your wheels will fall off. So let it dry. All right, we are at the final stage of our wagon. You're gonna put the wagon, all the wheels are dry. Oops, make sure it's all level there. Um, you're gonna make sure the wheels are dry and on your wagon. And then you're gonna take the rectangle white piece. You're going to just fold it. You don't wanna make a crease, but you just wanna bend it in the middle like that. And you're going to just slide it into the box like that. And you are now ready to travel the Oregon Trail. Your covered wagon is done. Ta-da!